The simple continuous suture pattern is one of the most common suture patterns that you'll be using in practice, that along with a simple interrupted pattern. Uh, to begin a simple continuous pattern, you simply perform a simple interrupted suture, full thickness bite, full thickness bite. Notice that I'm tucking away the needle and using a technique to gather suture. Gathering suture is something that you should learn uh, throughout this course. It's a good technique to maintain control of your suture in an orderly fashion. Now with uh, polyglactin 910, I don't have a lot of friction and so I'm going to use a surgeon's knot and hopefully that will be enough to maintain the tension that I want across this suture line. Now I've, I've put a surgeon's knot followed by two additional throws. Now to maintain equal tension when constructing a simple continuous, it's really helpful to have a surgical assistant. Um, you won't have that luxury when you're practicing for this course, um, but it is uh, a very good um, practice if you are really going to close an incision such as this that has a little bit of tension uh, to have a surgical assistant help. Okay. Notice I'm simply taking bites approximately five millimeters back from the incision edge, doing a similar bite on the far side of the incision, resetting my needle holders. and performing the simple interrupted technique. I trap the needle. I'm not actually grasping the needle. I'm trapping the needle with my thumb forceps, resetting my needle holders, and I'm ready for my next bite. Trap, reset. Now, if I wanted to end the pattern here, there are two ways that this pattern can be ended. One is, is to simply tie to your remaining, your last loop of suture, which is perfectly acceptable, such as that, okay? The next way would be to perform your last bite in backhand for um, in, as a backhand suture bite and tie to this loop. The only difference here is that when you construct a backhand suture bite, you're actually tying across the wound and it gives a little nicer closure rather than crinkling up the skin if you tie back to the last loop. Both are acceptable in life and for this course.